This video is about a sneaky way you can use your fold-up trailer to save time, hassle, and money. So what is stealth camping? For my definition in this video, it's camping in a public or private place without anybody knowing you're camping. It's secret and it's hidden. It's also camping where you normally do not camp. Instead of the traditional RV park or designated campground, it could merely be the side of the road in an urban area, which some call street camping. One main component is that it's temporary. It's overnight. It's not something you're going to do for several days. It also involves the use of a vehicle. Some use vans, cars, RVs, and truck campers, even motorhomes. But what is not often used are fold-up campers like an A-frame, at least until now. So why would anybody want a stealth camp? Number one reason is probably money. A lot of people just don't have the money or they can't see the sense if all you want to do is pull over and sleep. Certainly convenience is also a factor. If you've been on the road all day, you just get into town and it's starting to get dark, you're tired and you really don't have the time to scout RV parks or set up a site, or you might just be passing through, so it would be really convenient to just pull over and sleep. The other reason is and this is a very, very common one, is everything is booked. I mean, that happens so often. You get into an area and you assume there's a place that you can either camp or go to a hotel or something like that, and there's nothing there. It's happened to me many times. And the fourth reason, it's probably the most important reason, is shit happens. That's any unexpected event that puts a damper on your travels like a traffic jam, reservations that didn't go through, the Shriners took over town, and the big unknown, mechanical failure, like a flat tire. And let's not forget weather. If you're stuck and have to pull over for the night, what's your backup plan? So I'm gonna prove you can go stealth camping in an A-liner, an A-frame, or any pop-up camper similar to that. I'm sure there's a lot of doubters out there with that one obvious question. How do you hide an A-liner? The unique design attracts a lot of attention. The exact opposite of what you need to go stealth. And the big windows don't help, as it's pretty obvious when somebody's hiding in there. Everywhere I go, people stop and stare at the bright white triangle I'm camping in. It's only in the winter that I have any sense of blending into the background. So how can you keep under the radar with a camper that struts like a peacock? My solution is simple. Tell your trailer to keep its mouth shut. That's right, use it in its folded down position. In a sense, it's like converting your A-frame into a tent. This does, however, take a little preparation to succeed. So this is my setup in the trailer for regular camping. I've got a bed over here, and a bed over here, or it's also a desk and benches. But for stealth, I have to set up a little bit differently. Let me show you how I do it.
Okay, that's it. I can now fold down and go stealth. So those that are familiar with the A-liner know that when it's down and it's clamped, you can't open the door. The side's in the way. It prevents you to opening the door. So what I do is I've got a pool noodle and they weren't long enough so I put a little piece of PVC pipe in between to make it longer and I prop up the roof a little bit and snake that around clamp that down and that way I can now go stealth and open the door along with the foam tube I made another couple of tweaks to keep it more secure First I put a piece of 2x4 that's 2 and 3 quarter inches high in the channel at the door. This gives me the optimal gap I need to still open the door in down position. Next I made two spacers, a short one for the far latch and a longer one for the door side. These provide the right amount of tension for each latch. They're just made out of corner braces and bolts. Now I can set up an advance of going stealth without attracting any attention. Let's try it. And that's it. It's easy, ready to go. So now we're ready to go, it's time to figure out where to go. Looking for a good stealth location is an art. Some try the side roads on main arteries like this guy. Lucky for him, the traffic noise even covers up the sound of his generator. But if constant traffic noise bothers you, more secluded spots, like this one near a train track, might be better. Except for the trains, of course. Residential neighborhoods are not a good choice due to the parking restrictions and the fact you may end up taking a residence parking spot. Those dark and shady sections of town may be the last place you'd want to be at night. I would definitely avoid them. Commercial districts, however, can be a good bet, especially if it's a weekend. There's a lot more value in those trucks than there is inside my camper. And here's a crafty guy. Not only has he found a quiet spot, but he's got a breeze to power his wind turbine. Always obey the parking signs. You don't want a surprise from a patrol car in the middle of the night. So is camping at a Walmart stealth camping? Simply put, if you have the manager's permission, then it isn't stealth. But if you sneak in at night and don't ask, you may be getting a knock from security. Never take any parking lot for granted, as most likely you are being watched. I'm just here in the Walmart just to set up. I'm not camping here. So enough talking, it's time to start stealthing. It's getting late. It's time to pick a spot. <laughs> 